Playing Tank is currently shaping up to be the best pseudo in Tutor World PvP, and here's why. Playing a tank can run a variety of items. Use Crayons, Heal Jelly, and Curse Cloak are all good choices. Playing a tank uses the ability Slash Expert to gain a 20% attack bonus on all of its slashing moves, most notably Tri Elemental Slash, which gives Playing a tank insane coverage. All Clang Tang runs Shatter and the aforementioned Tri Elemental Slash, and a mix of Dark Slash, Disarm, Quick Strike, and Pursuit. Clang Tang equipment is quite self explanatory. Most run Doodad for maximum attack, though Cursed Cloak Clang can run Feathered Hats for the Magic Defense boost. Swag Juice is followed up, always being ran as your amulet due to the attack bonus and the health bonus, which is quite appreciated. And lastly, as your artifact, Playing a tank can run Thingamajig and Oakwood Staff, or the big attack boost. And Oakwood Staff does lower your does not lower your speed, but gives a bit less attack. And of course, you can al you can always run something like Decorative Cartana or Fawn Sprout Tail to get uh, a boost on opposing Clang a tank and get the jump on them, so you're able to win in the one v one situation. On to Clang and Tang's counters, and of course, I just made this tier list um, just to show you, just give you an idea and put everything out there. Uh, of course, there's other things too, but these are some of the main things that I just thought up of. And so first off, you know, Clang and Tang. Um, Clang and Tang is, you know, a check to Clang and Tang itself because of how good it is. And um, moving on to the actual answers, um, there are your offensive answers. Uh, Goma is a pretty good offensive answer, though it can't switch in too often, and it does fear Triamental Slash um, Electric. And um, otherwise, it's able to gain momentum on Clangatang, which is very valuable, but it isn't able to switch in too easily. Um, but you can use Pivots to help get in, and I'll bring that up later. Um, Abyssin is just a strong attacker. You're able to do quite a bit of damage to Clangatang, and I do believe you're weak to Dark, so you do have to watch out for Dark Slash. And... Uh, electric tri elemental slash um but otherwise you do do a big chunk of damage to it and are able to force it out consistently um henchum you aren't able to switch in too well though you do gain a ton of momentum and that's the common theme with a lot of these offensive answers they don't exactly gain they, they aren't exactly easy to switch into clangatang but when you switch them in um they are able to to gain momentum for you and threaten the opponent back. And while Spectatic isn't exactly an offensive answer, I did classify as it because it isn't as passive as the defensive answers. And it is able to gain some momentum through disarms or just going through for a raw body throw, I believe that's what it's called. And um, it is more bulky and it is able to come in more consistently than the others, though Shatter does do a ton of damage to you. Um, I believe like under 40%, so you do have to be careful with that, and try coming in on try an Elemental Slash or Dark Slash or something else. And Taruma, um, it is, I haven't really looked at this thing too much, but it is a pretty good Clang answer, uh, just because of its typing and also its ability, I believe, uh, boosts your melee defense. And uh, lastly, Bolt Duo, uh, you may not think of it as an offensive answer, but Bolt Duo is really strong, uh, does have lots of coverage, and it's basically like Clang and Tang, um, not exactly, but it is a good counter to Clangatang, and it is on the more offensive side. It's a very bulky attacker, uh, which is quite useful. And then moving on to the defensive answers, uh, you got um, Octonut. Um, this thing is able to answer Clangatang very well. It does fear the Tri Elemental Slash Electric, though you can use Protect to avoid that. And um, overall, it's it's a good answer to Clangatang, but there are some problems, and one is Disarm. Clang Tang really destroys this. Um, it, it, it's going to struggle a lot, and it is quite passive too. It can throw out Disarm, so it is not that passive, but it is, you know, it's it's fine. It's a good answer. Um, it's able to take hits well. And next up, uh, Mega Turtles. Um, it, it's basically the hardest Clang Tang answer you could ask for. Uh, it takes all of its hits well. I believe Trial Mental Slash Fire and Ice do like under 40%, and it does have that recovery move. So it is able to tank hits very well. Uh, the only problem with it is it is very passive, so it isn't going to be able to fit on a wide amount of teams, uh, which is why it often isn't used to answer Clang Tang. Though if you do have a more defensively oriented team, Mega Turtles is a great option to be Clang Tang. And next up is Moyai. Um, this thing is pretty good. Um, it's able to answer Clang Tang, but it is passive because its form of recovery, uh, rest, it takes two turns, and that is quite exploitable. 
uh, through the plethora of water types that are very strong in the world right now, currently. And um, next up is the evolution of Shiwi. I think that's what it's called. I forgot the name of this thing. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, its ability, uh, I believe it gets plus one uh, defense on Switchin. So that is quite nice. And uh, I do know that it's more of like a supportive doodle, but... It is quite passive. I haven't really looked into this too much, but uh, yeah. And uh, lastly, in sort of our defensive answers, uh, Moss. Uh, Moss is very fat and is able to take hits. It is not hit super effectively by any of Clang Tang's moves, which is very useful. Um, but the only problem is, once again, Disarm really screws this over, uh, just, as it, just as it does with Shiwi and uh, Spectatic. Though you are able to... Moss is a little less passive, though, which does help it but it still is somewhat passive, and Disarm really hurts it a lot. And uh, that's it with the defensive answers. Uh, lastly, pivots. Um, they're not exactly counters to Klangatang, but they do annoy it and help out teammates. And Volta 2, uh, the reason I have this here is because it is able to go for a taser. And if you're able to paralyze a Klangatang, then it has, you know, it loses its chance to attack, which is huge. It makes out playing it a lot easier, just having that ability to come in for, to something without taking any damage, is very big. And that's why Volta 2 is quite nice. And they might go for Pursuit on you too, which means that the Volta 2 takes damage instead of the thing coming in. So Volta 2, it's not a, it's not a perfect pivot into Clang, but it, Clang tanks do generally counter this, but it is able to annoy them with Paralysis. And just be warned that Clang Tang can easily just go for a Shatter on Volta 2 because they don't, Volta 2 doesn't really do much damage to Clang Tang. And it is pretty free, but just being able to paralyze it is very useful. And next up is the Gruffin. Um, Gruffin is a great pivot on Clangatang. Um, the reason I say this is because it applies seasoning and it's able to do a lot of damage. And it is a, it is a scared of the trial mental slashes, though all of its other moves, um, Gruffin doesn't really mind taking. And it's just better than the others because I think that Gruffin, it's I think it's a better pivot um, for Clangatang than Volta 2. Um, mainly because it's more defensively minded, and it is able to sort of... Because Clangatang doesn't really want to click Shatter on uh, Gruffin, uh, unlike Volta 2, which it can easily click Shatter on, but Gruffin can actually hit it back. Uh, so it is good for that, because you can bait the Trial Mental Slash or whatever maybe that they go for, and then switch into something else that could easily take advantage of that, like uh, your Spectatic or something, you know? And um, yeah, that's the end of your... It's the end of the video. Um, make sure to use Clangatang, it is a great doodle right now, you gotta make sure that you can beat this, and why not, why not try it out in PvP too, it's currently the best doodle in the game, and um, it's definitely proving itself to be amazing, especially with the Social Park release, and yeah, uh, let me know what you think of this video in the comments, uh, let me know if you think I missed anything, uh, any other things that you'd like me to cover, and uh, yeah, until next time, see ya.